What's up everybody? Welcome back for day 92. Today I thought I'd build on yesterday's video and explain how my pedal steel guitars, foot pedals, and knee levers are set up. The way a pedal steel player sets up their pedals and levers to modify the pitches of certain strings is called a copedon. I received my steel a few months ago and I haven't tampered with the copedon it came with so let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions as to how I could adjust it to make it better. Before I dive into my steel's copedon, I need to emphasize that I'm a left-handed player, so my setup is going to be backwards for all you righties out there. There aren't many lefty players out there, so I thought it would be cool to share what the Emin setup looks like on a left-handed steel. I'm going to reference the four main string groups on the pedal steel throughout this video, so check out my Day 75 video where I explained and practiced those groups if you've never heard of the groups before. Also, if you'd like any more information on the four string groups, there's lots of videos out there explaining their structure and their use. Paul Franklin's foundations course over on modernmusicmasters.com has given me the clearest explanation on the groups, so I'll link to that in the description below. Like most other pedal steel guitars, my steel's foot pedals are set up according to the Emin setup. My A pedal, the one on the outside or all the way to the right because I'm a lefty, raises strings 5 and 10, a whole tone from B to C sharp. When used in conjunction with the four string groups, the A pedal forms a 6 minor chord. My B pedal, the middle one, raises strings 3 and 6, a half tone from G sharp to A. When used in conjunction with the four string groups, the B pedal forms a one suspended chord. When you combine the A and B pedals, you can make an extremely useful four major chord without having to move the tone bar. My C pedal, the one on the inside or all the way to the left, raises string four up a whole tone from E to F sharp, and then string five up a whole tone from B to C sharp. When used in conjunction with the four string groups, the C pedal forms a 6-9 chord. As you can hear, and as I explained in yesterday's video, this chord isn't too useful on its own. That said, when you combine the B and C pedals, you can form a useful 2 minor chord. Unlike the other combinations of pedals, the B and C combo is restricted to the first two string groups, so I can only use it on strings 3, 4, 5, and 6. As for my knee levers, I have four in total. The first two are the standard levers found on almost any E9 pedal steel guitar. First, my right knee lever pushed to the right raises strings 4 up a half tone from E to F, and it raises my 8th string up a whole tone from E to F sharp. When played with the first two string groups, the right knee lever forms a one diminished chord. When I play the third and fourth string groups with the right knee lever pushed to the right, I can play an F sharp major add nine chord, which is pretty cool. Uh, uh. 
the second primary lever on my pedal steel, the left knee lever pushed to the left, raises string one a half tone from F sharp to G. It lowers string two a half tone from D sharp to D, and it lowers string six a half tone from G sharp to G. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, my pedal steel has two levers beyond the standard setup. My third lever, the right knee lever pushed to the left, lowers strings four and eight a half tone from E to D sharp. And finally, my fourth lever or my left knee lever pushed to the right is pretty cool because it has this two-step functionality for two different strings. My left knee lever pushed to the right raises string one up both a half tone from F sharp to G and a whole tone from F sharp to G sharp. Also, the fourth knee lever lowers string five down both a half step from B to B flat and a whole tone from B to A. The two-step dual functionality of certain levers is really cool because it opens the door to a whole bunch of different combinations and chords. I'm definitely not quite sure how to use all the combinations this opens up, but I'm excited to learn. I'd like to learn how to adjust the levers, specifically this in-between step on my fourth lever, so let me know down in the comments if you know how. For quick reference, each of the knee levers is usually abbreviated by the side of the guitar it's on and which direction it can be pushed. So for example, the right knee lever pushed to the right is typically abbreviated R, K, R, and so on. There's so much more I could cover in this video based on the specific combinations of pedals and levers, but I'll save that for another video and another day. For now, let me know what copedant or pedal and lever setup you use on your pedal steel down in the comments. I'm interested to hear why you set your steel up the way you do, so let me know. Also, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, let me know how I could modify my steel's copedant to make it better. I don't know exactly how to modify my steel to change the copedant, but I'd love to learn how. Don't forget to like today's video if you're following along with my learning journey and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. Thanks for coming back to check out my copedant, and as always, play every day.